Yo, what the hell happened yesterday? Is it just me that's hung over? Is it also the Steelers? We signed Mitch Trubisky. Did we forget to sign Akello Witherspoon? And then we bring back an offensive lineman on the team and also sign another one from the outside. But just like after a heavy night of drinking, there's the next day. The recovery. You go out to McDonald's, grab a burger, maybe grab a hash brown or two. And it seems like today, after yesterday, that's what the Steelers are in right now. All right, first, Mitch Trubisky, we already talked about this on Big Deke News yesterday, but now we know the numbers. Two years for $14.5 million, incentives up to $27 million. So based off that contract, I'm guessing he's slated to be the starting quarterback right now. I might have been wrong, but at the same time, I do think there is competition. I don't think this changes Mason's stance with the team or also with Dwayne Haskins. There's still going to be an open competition between the three, but I do think Mitch has the upper hand right now. To be honest with you, I don't really know how much better I feel now that I know the contract numbers because initially I was hoping it would be less than this, maybe five or six million. At the same time, seven and a half a year, not terrible. The incentives make it look a little bit higher, but at the same time, if he's hitting those incentives, that means Mr. Trubisky is playing well, and who's going to be opposed to that? No one. So, yeah, mixed emotions yesterday, and after knowing the contract numbers, I still have mixed emotions about the deal. Not amazing. Also, not really a terrible move. And I will tell you this, after seeing some Mr. Trubisky highlight tapes out there, I am kind of getting amped for the season. The Chooks contract. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. It's okay. It's okay. Because Chooks has been a starting right tackle in the NFL over the past two seasons. He's not our worst problem or hasn't been our worst problem on the offensive line. He's young, 24, going to be 25 this season. At the same time, this contract seems way too high. It just really does. That was my initial take on it. I thought he was going to be going for maybe $6 million, 7, but... When you do three years, almost $30 million, so he's basically averaging $10 million a year, it seems like a lot. I know people are talking and saying that, hey, the cap hit's not that bad this year. It's only $4.5 million, but then that gets bumped up to over double digits the next two years. I don't know how comfortable I feel having Chooks on a double-digit cap hit in 2023 and 2024, but that's just me. Or can we spin this? Let's spin this in a positive direction. Chooks, at this age, has been a starter. Maybe the Steelers are projecting a little bit with this contract. We're going to get him at his best from 25 to 28 in his whole NFL career because he has shown enough flashes where you'd want to re-sign him, where he's a solid starter in the NFL. So maybe the Steelers are saying, yeah, this is where he takes his next jump for these next three years, and he's going to live up to this contract. Because if that's the case, yeah, I don't think we're going to be really arguing about it. But it just seems... As of right now, a little bit high. And then they sign Mason Cole. Who the fuck's that? Three years, $15.75 million. That was my initial take, especially when I saw that he's only started a little over half of his games in the NFL. Why are we showing out that money to a dude that's kind of like a journeyman? But as I dug deeper, offensive lineman, position that we need, obviously, and versatile on the line. Can play guard, can play center. And he's young too, 25. So maybe the Steelers, just like I mentioned with Chooks, are getting this dude that's about to hit the prime of his career. We'll find out. So yeah, not really a bad move. But what the Steelers forgot to do was sign the one guy that they were supposed to sign yesterday, according to Aditi. Earlier in the day, she said, Akella Witherspoon, the Steelers are about to get a deal done soon. And we are still sitting here waiting for Akella Witherspoon to be signed by the Steelers. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, that the Steelers get a little bit too caught up in the Trubisky hype train that... They forgot to sign one of our top three targets that we need to sign this offseason in Akella Witherspoon, so we're still tracking this one. But here we are today, and after some questionable consumption of signings yesterday and also forgetting to sign people, the Steelers have the recovery, and they did that in the form of signing guard James Daniels, former Chicago Bear, to a contract of three years, $26.5 million. This dude is going to be our new starting, I don't know, right guard, left guard, it doesn't really matter. But he seems like a stud. Bears fans are really pissed that they're losing him. And with this signing and the recovery process, it seems like a lot more is getting clear. There's a lot more clarity. That deal for Mason Cole yesterday actually makes a lot more sense when you pair him with James Daniel because we're actually starting to build a decent offensive line. James Daniels, Mason Cole, Chooks, Dan Moore in his second season, Kevin Dotson. 
Kind of like what I'm seeing right there. And all those dudes are young. So Steeler fans, we should be happy. Najee Harris happy. Hell, the whole offense, the whole Steelers organization should be happy. I think they deserve a pat on the back for this one. I'm loving the recovery. It looks like we're heading in the right direction. Some final additional signings. Steelers resigned defensive tackle Montrevious Adams to a two-year, $5 million contract. I like this move. I thought he played good for us after we brought him in midway through the season. Solid depth piece for the defensive line. Still some uncertainty with Tua. We're hoping he comes back. But Montrevious Adams, I think, is a good piece for this roster at an affordable contract. Also looking like the Steelers are trying to bring back Robert Spillane and Marcus Allen. But that's it for this segment of Big Deke News. Still a lot more to be happening in free agency. We still got to see what happens with Edmonds, also with Witherspoon. Who knows what's still out there. Stay chilling. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.